sound right? Anyway, welcome one and all to the May 9th, 2018 meeting of the Rotary Club of Basketball Sunrise. Let me see if I got all, you may recognize someone up here, uh, and a trial run. Um, <laughs> so, pledge. Marty, can you give us a, a pledge, if you will? Yes, I will. Face the flag. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mike. So May 9th uh, has a lot of, of, yeah, of very interesting things. It's the National Burger Month. It's the National Movie Month. And it's the International Mediterranean Diet Month. These things are very important, I know, to you all, one and all. And thought for the day, Jim Blunt. <laughs> They're a little slow, not the A team on today. Yeah, well, where, where are you? Hey, 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 Marty. Hey. I say to you, brothers and sisters, speak in a way. Speak in such a way that others love to listen to you. And listen in such a way that others love to speak to you. Oh. You're here, you're here. You're here, and that's not Marty. I just put on my my rose colored shades. Oh my gosh. Song for the day, Joe. Hi, Please. How are you? Very, very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to court, but one of the same. <laughs> I was white shoes. <laughs> 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 you know, I dress all white shoes. That's probably very well. Hi, sunny morning. Hello, you are my sunshine. Yes. The other night here at Highland Sleeping, I dreamed I held you. opportunity to greet your neighbors. Oh, oh Joe! If you're so inclined, yeah. I hope if you're so inclined. I might want to talk to you. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Oh, they love it. 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 this reverse. No, my greeters were uh, all at the eight. Your greeters were late. Oh, no, should there be a fine in the offering? Laura, you have a mic in your hand. You should use it. Use the mic. A fine. 
sign in the offering. Mr. McLaughlin, should Mr. McLaughlin be fined? I don't know. Yes. What, what should Mr. McLaughlin's fine be? Man five bucks. Man bucks. I wish I could. How about Lynn? Did Lynn show up? Lynn did show up. Not really, but I don't know. And how about Kathy? Is Kathy a... No, Kathy's over dodging lava rocks. Oh, okay. Wow, really? Yeah. But thank you for doing duty, too. You bet. So, visiting Rotarians, Ms. Darling, could you please uh, advise us of saying? I will. I have Marilyn and Larry Lear here. This is Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn and Larry, Santa Rosa East. Welcome. Well, 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 and I think, I think this is the other half, right? And the lesser half, Larry Lira from San Jose. Yeah. Don't say that. Right. 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 And then we Don't go to San Jose. To Mary Craig from Rancho Catani. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello, Mary Craig, Rancho Catani. Hey, well, good morning. Mary. You grace our day. That's a visit to Terry. All right, and how about well, guests? Any guests? 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 Terry? Yes. Uh, my guest is our speaker today, Judith Eisen. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. So Andrea is not about. Oh, hey, Andrea just walked in. Oh, hey, Andrea, what's up? Look at that hair, dude. The Jew. The Jew. Jubia. Oh yeah, I got that on Saturday. Is that a man bun or it's like a top knot? Kind of. A top knot. <laughs> top notch, top knot. Right. There's some jealous people over here. <laughs> yeah, some jealous people right here. You don't have to divert attention, okay? I know, I know. I wish I could have a top knot. What's up? What, what's going on, Andre? Any more uh, tennis? How's tennis going? Marty, you well, tennis is over. It's been over for like two weeks. Okay. So all I'm doing is basically go to the gym six times a week. Wow. But you you still in training? Uh no, completely. It's completely done. When you get back to, are you going? Do you have plans to play in college in in uh, Italy? Yeah. No. I feel like that was my last really tennis for a while. Oh, how did it? Well, I got second best player of the league. Wow! Yes! Wow. Excellent. What else is going on? Um, well, I went to the beach last weekend. Oh! Which yeah. was beautiful because it was such good weather. Which beach? Which beach? Uh, Salmon Creek. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went by there myself. Yeah. And the, the one with the dunes. Yeah. So we just went behind the dunes. And Dylan! What'd you do behind the dunes? Just, uh. <laughs> Go, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> bless you, bless you. I just, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I didn't realize. By your tan. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's, that's it, but. You know, my father was on this uh, St. Mary's uh, tennis team back pre World War II. And him, he and his brothers played a lot of tennis in Alhambra and uh, we used to talk about Pancho Gonzalez at the LA tennis club and so forth. So. Uh, tennis is a part of my family, but not part really part of my life. I never could play it worth a damn. But anyway, keep it up. Um, thank you, Andrea. And Naya, what's going on with you? You mentioned to me that that you actually are unsure whether or not the place you are going to is in Argentina or Paraguay. That seems really strange. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so where I was assigned to is actually a multi-district. So everyone else had one district and I had like two, I guess. So one was in Paraguay and one was in Argentina. And I ended up being 10 minutes from Argentina in Paraguay. But it's okay because I can just go there. Um, it's an easy walk. And I'm actually talking to my first host family. So they have an 18 year old daughter and a 13 year old brother and a single mom. And I'm going to be staying with them for like the first few months, I think. 
Um, and yeah, but I'm still available to do photos. So if anyone wants me to do photos for them, just like talk to me about it and you can set something up. So thank you. Thank you, We should probably change the flag. To do what? We should change the flag. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a segment, thank you and I very much, uh, that uh, yours truly determined is would be sort of interesting. Every once in a while, of course, things happen in, in the courts that are uh, show some wit and common sense and and are interesting. And so this is a, a quote from this this case, a California Supreme Court case, 1855. A drunken man is as much entitled to a safe street as a sober one, and much more in need of it. <laughs> In this particular case, there was a gaping hole in the, in, uh, in the sidewalk. Man fell in it. Presumably, I believe this was in San Francisco, injured himself. And in fact, and at that time, there was an absolute bar to recovery if you were uh, contributorily negligent at all. And so the, uh, the trial court gave an instruction uh, to the jury that if you find this guy negligent at all, he doesn't recover. Presumably, he was critically uh, injured. And uh, there was a defense verdict, and the California Supreme Court said, no, 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 no. Uh, and this is a, uh, an instance of the making of the common law by the courts. The, uh, the Supreme Court said, no, no, no. A drunken man is as much entitled to a safe street as a sober one, and much more in need of it. 1855, the case of Robinson versus Pioche. Bayer, Bayer, Bayer and Company. There you go. What's that? It's been so long ago. Is Bruce involved Oh! We always roll around with Bruce. Okay. So, Rotarian birthday as well. It's Michael Fell's birthday. And Michael, I had a beautiful picture of you. Oh, yeah. But you're even more beautiful in person. So, please uh, tell us a little bit about your plans. Yeah, it's great. Well, thank you. So, <clears throat> tomorrow morning I'm going to fly to Mexico City and I'm going to celebrate my birthday with a Rotary Exchange student from the year 2000 who, with his family, has become very good friends. And so Carlos Bernard and his wife and their two kids and I will celebrate my birthday on Saturday in Mexico City. And so, remarkably, there are no other birthdays that I'm aware of, unless someone out here is aware of, no other ro rotary anniversaries, unless, you know, this is what the, the database tells us. And so, um, announcements. So, um, there are a lot of things happening. The district conference is in uh, Sacramento on the, between May 18th through the 20th. Yeah. May 21 is our board meeting. June 1 is the first Friday, and we will. I want to come back to our first Friday, this last first Friday, because it was a whopping great, wonderful thing at the, the uh, Mexico, what, Linda. Mexico Linda. Is that the name? Linda. 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 That was great. That was wonderful. That June 2nd, District 5130 board meeting, and Ukiah, June 23, 27, Rotary International Conference, and look who's going! Oh, yeah. Uh, start of the Rotary year is July 1. What like that? <laughs> July 26 is the start dinner by my evaluation. You want to say something? Yeah. Um, May 31st is the start dinner for May, and I forgot to fly oh, to bring it. Didn't. Because the topic is the fire relief fund. So Thank you. People there talking about what what's been going on with the fire relief fund and how it's functioning and all the ins and outs and stories and all the good stuff we've been doing. Where, where will that Santa be? Santa Rosa West is doing it uh -huh. and St. Rose at St. Rose. Anyway, I'll, I will give the flyer. Michael's going out of town, but anyway, uh, hopefully you've all received the flyer from uh, Janet Potty. I, I I have. Well, maybe I just didn't check my email, but it would be good to have another announcement going on about that. And I'm yes. sorry that I missed yes. that. Yes, and I was going to bring it to you, and I forgot. Oh. Sorry. Thank you very much. Um, go ahead, uh, Wayne. Uh, 
this Saturday is the barn raising, actually the greenhouse raising at Laguna High School. Uh, how many people think they could uh, come at 9 o'clock in the morning and work till maybe 2 o'clock uh, and help raise this greenhouse? One, two, three. Okay. okay, that sounds great. We're going to have, I'm going to serve pizza. Uh, we can't be here, but we'll have drinks. Pardon me? Domino's? Yeah, uh, maybe. I doubt it. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, th thanks all for uh, contributing and helping, and we'll see you Saturday at 9 o'clock. Uh, Wayne, I do want to tell you that there, how long will the, the party go on? The well, it's kind of hard to say, but I, I think 2 o'clock is a good it, it's probably going to be hot, so uh, we'll finish up at two. But you know, it's going to take several days to do this. So uh, I know that Joe and I are going to work on it after Saturday, and maybe some other folks. But well, the reason I ask, so we're we're um, for better or worse, we're going to have the club retreat at my house on uh, May 12th for purposes oh, okay. of talking about our next year. And you know, people will be occupied there at least until noon. And right. Maybe some of them can get away early. So yeah. uh, well, hopefully cool. they would, would would be able to come come by anyway. And, and, and that that would be ahead. great. Uh, I have other folks coming from the Hans Garden Club in Santa Rosa also. Um, so there's going to be a few more people. And I think when it gets too crowded, you know, there won't be enough room to work. So that, that, that's fine. I understand that. I think we'll be good. Say again? What do you serve? Is it there <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's a trade secret. Michael. Okay. And I just want to remind everybody that on Saturday, June 9th, there is a shed building project for the fire victims. Uh, it'll be at uh, Piner High School. It starts at 9 a.m. Uh, and I would very much like for us to assemble a team of uh, five or six people, uh, and we will be tasked with building a shed. Mike, will that be actually, the, the, the building will be at Piner High School? The building will be at Piner High School, yes. Okay. Well, thank you both of you for, for doing these things. And I, I do think that the, uh, what we were able to contribute to the, the greenhouse raising is just a wonderful thing, one of the, one of the things that we've done right. So, uh, <coughs> October 13 is our Sebastopol Craft Group Bash. Do you want to say anything, Terry, or rally the troops? And Beer is our friend. Beer is our friend, meaning? Beer is our friend. Okay. <laughs> Bring your friends. More to come. Uh, we've selected a band that will play for three hours in the afternoon. Kind of a fun local rockabilly, rock type, great lots of fun. So. It's coming along and beer is our friend. Okay, beer is our friend. Gail, I see you. Rum is my enemy, but beer is our friend. Yes, I like it. The stronger, the better. Get your feather. Gail. Thank you. I had a few announcements. First, I wanted to tell people that Derby Day happened last Saturday. Uh, we had a wonderful time, the people who bid on the auction item. And I want to particularly thank people who helped Scott and Judy. And Michael, who makes a mean devil day. <laughs> and we had, um, and Barbara Bogle saying, who really organized it, isn't here this morning. But it was, I had no idea when I had asked her to do this, that if you ask someone from Kentucky to put on a derby day, <laughs> it's a little bit like asking an American to put on a Thanksgiving dinner. I had absolutely no idea that it all has traditional food. And, I mean, it was a big deal. Lots of fun. Something we should all think about doing another year to just to have a good time. And Scott also helped. I'm trying to remember. Scott and Judy ran the betting. And uh, you had someone who theoretically would have made $5,000. Is that right? Something on there? like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was fake money, but they were given real betting stuff. It was, it was a great deal of fun. So, which horse won the ra won the race? Justify. 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 Just in time. Justify. So, and it was pouring down rain. So, and we had it streamed in on this uh, flat screen TV. So, it was 
Um, pouring down rain in Kentucky. It was pouring down rain in Kentucky. And so uh, it was a very interesting experience. He loved this. I wanted to mention two other things quickly. On your tables, there's something about the lecture series coming up at the hospital. I hope people will look at that and consider coming. And then finally, I want to mention that uh, Global Upside Care is having their fifth annual uh, recognition and annual event about what's going on in our global telemedicine program. Some of you who've been particularly involved with this, I've given you invitations, but all of you are invited. It's going to be at the Gravenstein Grill and from 5 to 7 on the 9th. And I wanted to mention, since Mary is there, that she is going to be one of the people who are particularly celebrated for her work. And if you ask Michael, he will be glad to hand you an invitation that lists all of the Rotary Clubs around the world that now participate in the program that we started. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Gail. Um, we have another announcement over here for us. Per chance, per chance, do we have a microphone for the young lady? Thank you. President elect Van Thoreau's I'm so. here mainly today because I want to give an award to Linton Hale for being the advisor for Rotor Act. Yes, indeed. But before I do that, I have to speak to one other thing that came up since you have two exchange students here. And you mentioned a uh, response about the fire. I just wanted to say that uh, one of the reasons to host an exchange student is if your house burns down and it's all over the world news, there were, we had over 13 years, we had an exchange student every year just for three months, not you, just three months for the 13 years. And these eight countries, Hungary, India, Finland, Brazil, Argentina, France, Italy, and Switzerland, had exchange students who contacted us when they heard that Fountain Grove was on fire because they remembered their bedroom in our house in Fountain Grove and that that bedroom burned down. And you know, you don't realize how wonderful the youth exchange is and how much they connect us with the whole world until something like this happens. So thanks for hosting the youth exchange. And that takes me to another youth, which is Rotaract. And uh, one of my favorite sayings about Rotaract is ask not what Rotaract can do for your Rotary Club, but ask what your Rotary Club can do for Rotaract. Because Rotaract's our future, as is Interact. And your club and our club are the two uh, host clubs for Sonoma State Rotaract. And there used to be four Rotaract clubs in the South District. Napa College, Santa Rosa Junior College, South Sonoma County, and SSU. The other three are gone. There's only Sonoma State Rotaract. And your Linton Hale and our George Malcolmus are the two advisors who have kept it alive, who are so key to this. So I have a couple things today I wanted to, first of all, give a certificate to Linton for being an advisor extraordinaire. And also, uh, Feet. Your feet. Your feet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> also, uh, Linton, the students went together and got you a gift certificate for the Sonoma Coast Dive Shop and a dive magazine because they heard that you were interested in diving, scuba diving. So I hope you will take that in appreciation. And one other thing about Linton, when I asked him to do this, oh, no, first of all, uh, he was not a Rotarian two years ago. And we had a grant for one rotor actor and one Rotarian to go to India to set up telemedicine. And we didn't have a Rotarian, so I asked Linton, would he join Rotary just? You can quit in six weeks, but just join. So, so you didn't know this, but he came to your meeting, he joined Rotary just to go on this school trip. And he, and then he loved it, then you were great. So then he was so, no, you were wonderful, he fell in love with Rotary. And then uh, after a while, he was saying, well, you know, I don't know if I can go to Sonoma State every week, that's a lot, he has a family. So pretty soon we made a, 
every other week. And about four months ago, he emailed me and said, you know, I really like working with Rotary. And they can tell. And it's great. He likes Rotary, he likes Rotary Act, and he's made a big difference. So thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We should look in this coming year and uh, going forward for ways to reach out to our Rotaract clubs and, and involve them in our club activities. The final thing that I want to get to about announcements is, if I can get my, where is this, a technical? I want to... Uh, acknowledge Linda, Linda Sincade, for the wonderful, wonderful last Friday that we had. It was amazing, Linda, and thank you so much for your uh, organizing. It was a wonderful event, and thanks all to everyone that came, because um, I think uh, it was certainly my impression that everyone had a wonderful time, and it's so very important, I think, um, to that we have fun, and this is a, a you know, this is a perfect example of the sort of event that you know fosters goodwill and fosters fellowship in our club. So thank you very much for that. Now.